Hi beautiful Cancer, it's Mika. This is my tarot reading for Cancer for the week of July 3rd through July 9th. I pulled some beautiful cards for Cancer this week. The first card that I pulled out actually popped out at me. It's the Self-Reliance card all the way over to the left of the screen. It's a beautiful card and it's encouraging you to go with your self-reliance. Don't be afraid to fly solo. Just go with your gut instinct. If you need time to just be by yourself, regroup your thoughts, have fun with yourself, then do it. The other card that I actually pulled was potential. So whatever you have going on in your life, whether it be launching a business, going back to school, going for a new job, trying to start a family, going after some type of dream of yours, the potential is there. The card is in the upright position, position, excuse me. So that means that the energy is flowing nicely. If you're encountering any delays or blockages, it could be of your own doing. It could be lack of confidence. It could be you're letting other people get into your mind and you're just letting outer situations delay you from going forward now of course we also have lovely mars that just went direct on june 29th so there were lots of delays going on within the months of excuse me may and june but thankfully with mars slowly going direct that momentum and that energy and that that grr that inertia We'll start to kick in and build in as we start to move forward. The second card that I have for Independence Day, which is also a lovely new moon in your sign of Cancer on July 4th, Monday, it's the friendship card. It's important to have wonderful friendships in our lives. It's important to take time to nurture them and, you know, reach out to a friend, make plans. If the friend that you haven't talked to or spoken to or hung out with in a long time is busy, you know, at least make the effort to contact them and say, hey, what's up? Happy 4th of July. What are you doing? I haven't seen you in a long time. You know, just reach out to the people that you love, especially friendships. And you know what? You can also have friendship with family members. Sometimes your best friendships are with family members. So don't forget that on this beautiful Independence Day. And since you have a new moon in your sign, whatever seeds you want to plant for the year, the coming year, you know, you can do that once that new moon has presented itself. So use the two weeks following this new moon leading up to the full moon to plant those seeds for whatever endeavors you want to do. I always say that the new moon is strongest within the first three days, but again, you do have the power for two days. Now leading into Tuesday, July 5th, you have the choices card. So whatever choices you have going on in your life, whatever decisions you have to make, just know that you have the option to do so now. Again, that new moon has just presented itself. Mars is going direct. Mercury is out of its shadow. You have some good energy going on right now. You have the green light, so go for it. Now, the following day, which is Wednesday, uh, you pulled, or should I say I pulled, <laughs> the Archangel Raphael card. And Archangel Raphael is the angel of healing, and he's there to help you in your time of need. And even though it's in reverse, that doesn't dampen or weaken Raphael's energy or ability to help you. But I interpret it in reverse to mean that you're not asking for the help that you need. You know, you we all have spirits that are helping us from beyond the veil. At least I believe so. Whether you do or not, that's your own choice. But I do, and you don't have to call them angels. I don't necessarily call them angels myself, but I do believe that there are spirits on the other side, particularly loved ones that are passed on, that are constantly trying to help us. So if you feel that you're in need on Thursday, and if you just saw one of my little kittens run by on the right of the screen, I have seven renegade kittens that I call them <laughs> right now. They're, I'm waiting for them to get old enough so I can adopt them out, but anyway, um, Archangel Raphael is always waiting, you know, and spirits beyond the veil, the veil, they're always waiting for you to ask for help, so don't be afraid to do it. Uh, the following day, Thursday, you pull the go with the flow card. Again, it's in the upright position, 
So whatever you want to do, just let go and let things happen. You know, you can't micromanage everything. And for me, I'm a Capricorn with a Virgo rising. I like to plan and, you know, analyze and break everything down. And sometimes it's difficult for me to go with the flow and just let things happen. But you know what? A lot of times when you do let go and let things happen, you're a lot happier and you feel that your vibration is much higher and vibrant. And you notice that things tend to happen and you attract them a lot quicker when you just go with the flow and let life happen. So I know easier said than done, but just try. That's the overall theme for that day. And then again, the following day, which is Friday, Friday, you pulled the celebration card, which means let go and have fun. And that's exactly what you should be doing on Friday. Uh, even if it's not the beginning of your weekend, you know what? Friday is still a fun day, Friday fun day. So try to set aside some time to just have fun, let loose, and just, you know, enjoy life. Just, just make that a priority that day when you can. Even if it's like just taking 30 to 40 minutes out of your day to just sit and chill, laugh, watch a funny video, eat your favorite food, whatever you can do. Just celebrate life, listen to music, just have fun. And then the following day, Saturday, you pulled the Dragonfly card, which the Dragonfly is a beautiful card to get. They are very majestic, very mysterious creatures. They have the ability to fly forwards and backwards, upside, or not upside down, but up and down and they're really beautiful creatures and you know to get the dragonfly card just means to have faith in yourself to don't allow others negativity to get you down get you down live your life to the fullest in fact in some cultures the dragonfly is also considered to be good luck for prosperity some people hang dragonfly um, charms in their car, you know, for protection. So there's different ways that you can interpret exactly what the symbolism behind the dragonfly is for you, but just know that it is a positive creature and a positive being. And when you spot one in nature, just, you know, take the time to watch it and say thank you. Thank you for crossing my path and thank you. You know, you can take it as a sign that wonderful things are coming. Anyway, thank you so much. Hi Cancer, I'm so sorry, my camera cut off and I just wanted to say that your overall theme for the week of July 3rd through July 9th, you pulled the children's card. So even if you don't have children of your own, you could still work with children, you could still be in constant contact with children. If you say live somewhere where there are a lot of kids in your neighborhood or kids that live with you but they're not your own, or also fur babies, if you have pets that you treat as children, they also count as children. But just know that children are going to be the overall theme for you, which again, I find ironic because your cancers, you rule motherhood, nurturing the mother in your life. So just know that children are going to be an underlying theme, an overall theme for your week of July 3rd to July 9th. If you would like a reading by me, please email me at mysticmika81 at aol.com. I would love to book something with you. But again, thank you so much for listening. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment to my videos. I truly, truly appreciate it. Enjoy your week, Cancers. Bye.